Hello everyone. In this video I would like to share my experiences how I enjoy and learn from cold water dowsing. So first of all, why one would like to do the cold water dowsing? When I googled it on the internet, apparently it has a lot of health benefits. It boosts your immune system, it helps to burn calories, it decreases the risk of dementia and many other health benefits. So, there are definitely reasons to do it. It will require some time commitment on your part. I would say maybe if you start with 15 minutes per day, or at least that, that works for me. And then the way I'm doing it, I'm kind of breaking it up in two steps. In the first step, which usually 10 minutes, it's, it's a warm up. And the length of the first step will depend on the ambient conditions. If it's warm like today, you can actually skip this step but if it's cold freezing it's important to make sure that you get warm and comfortable by the end of finishing step one and my suggestion also is dress appropriately if it's cold i think it's okay to dress up and feel warm while you're doing the step one so in a Step two, which I would say five minutes, it could be long, it can be less, it's where you get your cold water exposure. And for the cold water exposure, I would say there are at least three kind of levels of difficulty. You can start with the cold showers, progress to the cold water dowsing, and maybe the most difficult one is going to be cold water plunge. I'm somewhere in between the cold shower and uh, cold water dowsing now. I've never done the cold water plunge. So for me, that's still room to grow. And what's important, when the way I look at that, when I'm doing the cold water exposure, I'm going from being comfortable to be very uncomfortable. And the best tool to manage this transition it's to use your breathing. I have been a systemic student for a few years now, and I would like to use system of principles for breathing to manage this transition. And the two rules for breathing is, first one is to inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. And then the second rule for the breathing is that breathing has to match the level of tension you're experiencing. If you're very calm, then your breathing is slow and very deep, all the way to your stomach. If you're tense, your breathing is fast and shallow. The most extreme breathing, we call it a burst breathing, when it, the breathing is very shallow and it stays in the level of your uh, neck. So we use burst breathing to get out of the kind of shock. If you experience a uh, physical shock, emotional shock, burst breathing will help you to get out of this uh, condition. So I would like to demonstrate how I'm using this uh, breathing principles to do the cold water dowsing. And for me, that's the part which is learning. I learn to how I can be comfortable going into uncomfortable situation so first thing i will do i will uh, do the cold shower using my uh, garden hose so that's actually not cold water it's pretty warm it's i don't know maybe like 60 degrees uh, fahrenheit i don't know maybe 12 15 degrees uh, celsius and then i will have a tub with uh, ice cold water i have ice melt in there so i think this one would be maybe i don't know 40 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe 8 degrees uh, centigrade, maybe 6. So, at, uh, and I guess uh, for me, the most important part of how I breathe. So, once I get the garden holes in my hands, I already kind of start feeling tense. So, I accelerate the breathing a little bit and I usually start with my feet and I don't think I will be committed much after this moment 
but you will see how I'm briefing and then at some point I will use briefing to calm down the uh, um, anxiety in me. So this part was quite easy, as I said, water is quite warm, so I didn't even have to blink very, very fast. So with this one, I still have some cubes of ice floating, the big piece of ice. So I will do the cold water dowsing now. That actually feels very good. So now I'm trying to enjoy the outside. I breathe, my skin breathes, and I'm just gradually calming down with my breathing. That was it.